Hi, my name is Marcus Canty, and I was enlisted in the Georgia Army National Guard before going to West Point for two years. Uh, I ended up finishing at Georgia Tech, and my last tenant service was enlisted in the United States Marine Corps as an air traffic controller. So I found Intellectual Point because I decided I wanted to make a career change. Uh, I evaluated all of my skills, my interests, and what I really wanted to do with the next 20 years of my life. And uh, I landed in IT, not exactly knowing what I wanted to do. But uh, I went through the VA website. I found out a program. I found out about a program called Vet Tech. And I looked at the approved uh, educators that were on the VA's list. And I saw Intellectual Point, among others. But uh, I did my research. I looked at the different pathways. The cloud pathway really interested me. and intellectual point made it very easy for me to get started. Uh, I chose the cloud pathway uh, path here at intellectual point primarily because in my current career I work as a wind turbine technician uh, slash specialist so I've been working with industrial internet of things for the past six years. Uh, I've been installing peripherals for condition monitoring systems as well as working with SCADA networks. So uh, I decided that I would bring all of that information together that I know about IoT and manufacturing and uh, energy plants and kind of apply that to the software side of things and specifically hardening those systems, uh, seeing that a lot of these systems are using legacy technology that you know, security wasn't necessarily a, a primary consideration when they were first being implemented. And uh, we mentioned it's really helpful to have those additional resources. And it really was to have guys like uh, Steven and Prim and, uh, and Rich be able to explain things in such detail that we were able to get it. And as they said, they broke it down for his Barney style to third grade level. Uh, Prim said he could break it down to kindergarten level for you if you needed to. But uh, the instructors were very patient. They answered all of the questions that the students asked. Uh, the test, for example, were extremely valuable. I used those in practice mode. I just went through 20 at a time, just making sure that I had a good command of the information. But uh, they were really helpful. The way that they worded the questions made you really think about the answer that you were giving. But again, the, uh, the teachers or the professors really explained things to us very well. So we had little ditties, little correlations that we could put together in our head and understand the information. I'm an 80s baby. I was born in 1983. So uh, I grew up in an age where computers were pretty new to us. I think I got my first computer when I was around nine or 10, you know, the old uh, Macs with the floppy disk. And other than that, we really only used computers in public school for playing games, I would say in elementary and middle school. Uh, we started taking typing classes in high school, and I remember one of my biggest challenges in my first year at West Point was uh, CS100 or CS105, I believe, but I had never really been exposed to programming computers, working with computers other than word processing. So I was extremely nervous about being able to understand the different protocols, the jargon, uh, how things work. Uh, but once everything was explain to us is really simple and it's, it's just real world applications or uh, things that we know about that are have just been digitized. And once you think about things uh, from that perspective, it made things a lot easier to understand. I would say know yourself first. Take the time to do some uh, skill assessments, some behavioral assessments. Just know what your work styles are. I use Till HQ. Uh, that was a free resource that was helpful for me to understand how I work. And once I realized that I was a start, start type person, I start with processes, I start with people, and then I finish with the process, finish with the people. Meaning that I know that I'm good at big ideas and getting people to work, but I want the process to work overall. So that's what helped me narrow down my focus in IT, especially with security. And uh, one of the biggest uh, pieces of advice that I got was from my cousin who has been in IT for five years now. And the best thing he said is, you'll be able to do more once you start doing more. So the Security Plus class was great because it just exposed me to so many different ideas that uh, as I researched and I continued to look into it more and I learned new command line phrases, you know, everything was, it just clicked. And then I started understanding more about what I wanted to do.